This is Alan Spada with This Day in Texas History for February 26, 1836. Matamoros Expedition. Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas de la Portilla arrives as the rain starts. He proceeds with a small group to Fort Lipantitilan and is informed that Grant and Johnson are split. He joins back up with the uh, cavalry at San Patricio at 3 a.m. Colonel Urea's diary. Infantry arrived at dawn. Despite the rain and cold, he advanced. At the Alamo, more uh, huts are burned. The men in the Alamo look for an alternate water source. A fight broke out when Mexican troops attacked a group of Alamo defenders trying to get water and wood. The Mexicans suffered casualties. Alamo defenders were unscathed. Almonte's diary. Northern wind continues very strong. Reports a slight skirmish and continuous firing from the cannon. Over in Goliad, Fannin sets out for the Alamo, but carts start to break down almost immediately. The San Antonio River is crossed by late afternoon, and they make camp. They didn't. They got only a mile or so down the road. Fannin writes to James W. Robinson, Robinson to explain why he aban abandoned the march to the Alamo. Washington on the Brazos. Acting Governor James W. Robinson writes to Sam Houston to come to Washington on the Brazos to organize our countrymen for battle and tells them the situation at the Alamo. Thomas Jefferson Rusk's term as Inspector General of the Army in Agadocious District ends. In Gonzales, Isaac Millsaps and William Summers meet up with Andrew Kent at his house, and they head to Gonzales and get there in the uh, afternoon. Men gather to head back to Behar, including several on leave from the Alamo, such as Robert White and William Irwin. Davy Kent arrives in Gonzales after trying to get back to the Alamo with the cattle he had been sent out to get. His father orders him to get uh, his mom and siblings to Gonzales and protect them, and his father would take his place at the Alamo. Andrew Kent would die defending the Alamo. So he, he took his uh, son's place, even though he knew that there was going to be very little chance he had of surviving. I got to meet the uh, Kent's uh, family over at the uh, Alamo Memorial a couple of years back. Very nice people. Okay, this has been Alan with This Day in Texas History for February 26, 1836. Battle of the Alamo is, in full go is going full blast, and it's not looking good for the boys. I'll see you tomorrow.